In this video, you will learn how to work on UA Student Information System, SIS. It shows all the major services from enrollment, drop or swap courses, checking grades, and financial tracking. Accessing SIS In order to access the SIS, go to ua.edu.lb, click on Lia Rapide or Quick Links, and select SIS. You can also access the SIS by visiting sis.ua.edu.lb. Once you're in, type your user ID. Your ID must be composed of nine digits. Your username is composed of the first two letters of your first name, the first two letters of your last name, and the last four digits of your ID number. Make sure to capitalize the letters. After your first login, a message stating that your password is expired will appear on your screen. Click to change your password. You will be requested to change your password and enter the new one. Then, you rewrite the current password from the previous combination we've already mentioned, and then you type your own new password. For better security, make sure your password is ambiguous enough. There are four steps for the enrollment process. Step 1. Checking your enrollment dates. Once you're on the SIS homepage, choose Self-Service from the menu and then click on Student Center. On the right side of the screen, you will be able to see the enrollment dates. Click on Details to see the table indicating the beginning date and the end appointment date of the enrollment period. Step 2. Checking your holds. On the right side of the Student Center window, Click on Details under the rubric Holds to make sure if there is any hold on your personal ID. Once you click on the hold notification, you will see further information about it and the correspondent instructions to release the hold. Step 3. Accessing and adding your courses to the shopping cart. In the Student Center page, click on the drop-down list and choose Academic Requirements, then tap the Go button. You will be able to see the requirements, the requirements groups, and the courses lists. In each course group, you are able to see how many units or credits are required and how much you've already taken. Choose the course that you wish to enroll in, for example, Written Communication for Engineers. Click on View Class Sections and then choose the semester from the Terms Offered rubric. Click on Show Sections to get all the available sections or classes. For each section, you can see the days, the start time and time, the room, and the instructor. Choose the section that best suits your schedule and click on Select. The green open icon indicates that you can enroll in the course. Click Next and the message with the green mark will confirm that this course is added to your shopping cart. An error will appear in case the course was not successfully added. To add another course, you will have to return back to My Academic Requirements and repeat the same steps. The last enrollment step is to validate your courses and enroll. After adding all the desired courses to the shopping cart, go back to the shopping cart by clicking on Select Here or directly from the Student Center. In your shopping cart, double-check all your courses' names section, time, and select all classes to validate them. A message will appear for each class to confirm the validation. In case any potential problem appears, read the written message and act accordingly. Go back again to the shopping cart, reselect the courses, tap Enroll, then tap Finish Enrolling so the courses will automatically be added to your schedule if no error message has appeared. Swapping Classes in case you want to swap or modify your previous course's choice, go to the Student Center and under Academics, select Enrollment Swap from the drop-down list and tap the Go button. You have to pay attention that you can switch classes only during the drop and add period of each semester. Select from your schedule the class you want to swap or switch to and click on Class Search. You can either choose the subject you want to swap or simply click on Search to get all the courses available for your program. Select the desired class and click on Next. 
Always double check which course you are swapping before clicking on finish swapping to avoid mistakes. A message stating that the course was successfully swapped should appear on your screen. If not, follow the instructions given to solve the problem or error. Dropping classes. To drop a course, go to the student center. Under Academics, select Enrollment Drop from the drop-down list and tap the Go button. You have to pay attention that you can switch classes only during the drop and add period of each semester. Select the class that you want to drop and click on Drop Selected Classes. Double check your amendments and then click on Finish Dropping. A message stating that the course was successfully dropped should appear on your screen. If not, follow the instructions given to solve the problem or error. Weekly Schedule Access your schedule through the main page of the Student Center by clicking on Weekly Schedule. There are two types of schedule display option, List View and Weekly Calendar View. Feel free to choose the one that suits you the best. Checking Grades in the Student Center, click on the drop-down and choose Grades, where you will be able to see the grades of the courses you've taken. On top of the grades, you can find the respective semester. Click on Change Term to pick a specific semester's grades and tap Continue. To see your GPA and its related information, check the Term Statistics table. The From Enrollment column on the left indicates grades corresponding to the selected semester. The grades appearing in cumulative total on the right indicate those corresponding to the entire academic path. Financial charges. You can also check your account balance from the Student Center. For more details, you click on Account Inquiry under the Finances tab. The first tab shows the account summary including the current and future dues. To get further detailed information, click on the Charges Due tab. The summary of charges by due date table indicates the amount you need to pay and the payment due date. For example, on the 5th of September, an amount of $510 needs to be paid. To see what you are paying for, click on the arrow next to Details by Due Date to expand the table. You can check all payments details. The $510 payment that dues on September 5 is divided into $10 for insurance, and $500 for the advanced payment. The third table, Details by Charge, shows the charge description, its due date, the respective semester or term, and the total amount. For more information, please visit ua.edu.lb and click on Lien Rapide in order to download the SIS User Guide.